my channel. Today I have a brand new video for my series, Organize Your Life With Me, that I started here on my channel about a month ago. The first video I filmed for that series was a deep clean and organize your kitchen fridge, and the transformation was incredible, and that system is still working for me today. My refrigerator is still super organized, and I love what I did, so if you guys wanna see that video, I'll leave it in the cards right here. And then the second video I did was how I organized and decluttered our master bathroom. Again, the end result was amazing and the system is still working for us today and I'm just so happy with how these spaces are turning out. And you guys know I have a lot going on. I'm a busy mom just like so many of you guys so it's hard to keep up a space once you organize it and keep it that way. But these two things, our fridge and our master bathroom, have stayed organized, so I'm so happy with that. So check out those videos if you guys are needing inspiration on how to organize your refrigerator or your master bathroom. But for today's video, we're gonna be organizing and decluttering my pantry. My pantry, you guys, is an absolute disaster. It's probably the one place in our house that drives me the most insane because there's just stuff everywhere stuff that's not even food items just thrown in there because our pantry is a pretty decent size so stuff just gets thrown in there that doesn't even belong so i'm so excited to revamp this space and make it a place where i'm excited to walk into and not feel like super overwhelmed so i went to the container store and i got a few things so i'm going to show you guys the inside of my pantry and then show you the containers that i got to organize it so here is the before it is so bad, you guys. This shelf especially. Like, what is even going on up there? Half this stuff isn't even good anymore. Um, we have, like, an apron down there in the corner. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Water bottles on the floor. And then this side, all this stuff like doesn't even belong in the pantry to be honest. I need to take all this stuff out and find a home for it. I still have like stuff from our gender reveal which is super sad. I still dip into those Starbursts but th that popcorn right there is super stale. I don't know why it's still in here. There's just no rhyme or reason. Like what the heck? Why is that sitting there? I have no idea. So this needs a desperate makeover. I cannot wait to organize in here. There's a lot of space. Here, let me step back so you guys can get a better view of how much space is really in here. It's massive, so I have a lot of space to work with, so I'm really excited to get it all organized. So this is the stuff that I picked up at the container store today. So I got two more of these cereal containers, and then I got eight of these, I think, or seven, seven of these. And I'm probably just going to put like snacks, um, chips, bread, things that are just like loosely placed on the shelf. I'm going to put them in here so that they have a home and I can see through them. I like how they're clear so I can see what's inside. And then I got one of these for our spice packets. Um, we have a couple of those that just get thrown on the shelf. So this is going to store those. And then I got a skinnier one of these containers. I think I'm gonna put pouches in here. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's what I had in mind when I bought this. Um, just leftover pouches that don't fit in the fridge that I store in the pantry. I wanna put them in here, I think. And then I got two more Lazy Susans for cans and stuff, like syrup, things like that. And then I got chalk labels and permanent chalk markers at the container store as well because I have a couple of these baskets. I have two more laying around the house that have nothing inside them. So if I need to use these, I can, and then I can put um, these chalk labels on them. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is take everything out of my pantry, put it on my kitchen counter, and go through everything that doesn't belong in the pantry and find a home for it in my house somewhere or toss it if I don't need it. Um, go through all of my food that is expired, toss that stuff, donate whatever we're not gonna eat. And then I'm gonna wipe down all of the surfaces in here and make sure I'm working with a clean slate and then I know exactly what I need to bring back into the pantry to organize.
Okay, are you guys ready to see the final result? Seriously blown away by how amazing it looks in here now if you guys remember the before This is just a total transformation. So I'm gonna walk you guys through Everything I did. I'll show you guys this side over here as well So we'll start over here. I just have All of the things that don't really have a home. We have our Keurig up there some stuff I use for Bailey's birthday party that we don't use on an everyday basis. I have a spice rack right here, but most of the spices we use on an everyday basis are above our oven. Um, I have some popsicle holders and some ice cube holders in there. Stuff for our Nutribullet in that little container, our Nutribullet, and then just like other things that we don't use every day. I have some extra paper plates right here. I took out all of our Ziploc bags and got rid of those bulky boxes and put them in this pretty wicker basket. Um, there's some bigger ones back there and some disposable utensils that we have left over from Bailey's birthday party. I just put them right there. Um, Adam's workout stuff, protein powder. And then I brought this big thing off of the floor. I think it was on the floor before and I put it up here so it's out of the way nothing is on the floor anymore so now we'll move on to the food items this is the first thing you see when you walk into the pantry and it's just so much more pleasing to the eye so i have all of our cereal up there we're huge cereal fans in this family i have some leftover lollipops from our gender reveal those are my bribing sticks for the girls I have some little cookies in there, veggie straws, pretzels, and then on this next shelf is basically all snacks for the girls, and then we have our Annie's mac and cheese for them in that bin. Um, we have our little muffins and then bars behind that in this bin. I have the girls' fruit snacks and some peanut butter crackers behind that, um, some raisins, popcorn, and then some leftover peaches that didn't fit in the fridge. I have them stored back there. And then moving on to the next shelf, I have a cup of noodles in that bin, um, some hash browns in here. We use those for breakfast a lot. And then this is stuff that I use for my acai bowl. So I have some coconut flakes and then some um, granola. And then there's um, some cranberries back there. And then in this little container, I have my oatmeal. And then there's some hot chocolate and um, some hollandaise sauce that we use for Eggs Benedict in the mornings. And this thing is really cool because it just stores like all of your little packets like that so they're not just like thrown in somewhere. Um, and then this is probably my favorite shelf. It just looks so pretty. So I have some Smart Water, some Pellegrino, some Gatorade. These are by far my favorite thing to drink right now. I've been craving them like crazy ever since I found out I was pregnant. I started drinking these when I was like 12 weeks and I have not stopped. These are so good. And then some Diet Dr. Pepper. So that wraps up this wall. I'll give you guys one more overview of what it looks like. Now I'll show you guys what's up here. So just some pasta noodles up there, pancake mix, baking stuff. I put all these in these bins last time I redid our pantry at our old house. So I just kept those and they're already organized. So I didn't really have too much work to do for these items. And then down on this shelf, I got two more Lazy Susans for more canned goods that didn't fit on the previous ones. So nothing crazy going on over here, but um, these are really nice to have so that you can find everything and everything is super accessible. So down here I have five baskets that have chips, more chips, and then some of my candies in that one. Um, baking stuff, I organize everything in there as well. In this basket I have some crackers, and then over here is all of our bread goods. And then last but not least, I have some cooking spray down there and then like overstock. So I have some couple noodles behind that that didn't fit. And then I have two things of 
chicken stock behind the cooking spray. And then I took all of my paper towels out of the plastic wrapping and put them on the shelf so that when I run out of paper towels, I can just come in here really quick and grab one off of the shelf. And it looks pretty in there. So that is my pantry, you guys. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks so good. Yay, it looks so much better than when it did before. Oh my goodness. But that is gonna be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some inspiration and motivation to tackle a space in your home that is overwhelming you and that you need to organize. I am so incredibly happy with the end result. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know down in the comments which space you wanna see me organize in my home next and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.